Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. My name is Mr. Perez, and I'm here to talk to you about cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is protecting things in the digital world. Now, when we talk about digital world, what is that? We have to know that first. Well, that's anything you do in your cell phones. When you send a text message, if you have a tablet and you're playing a game, maybe you're logging into your iReady iReady is in your digital world, or if you're in a virtual reality world. All those places on the internet, in the games, that's the digital world, and that's where cybersecurity protects things. Now, what do we protect? Well, when we think about it, we have three things that we want to protect. One is anything that should be secret, like your password. We don't want hackers getting your password and getting into your things. Second thing is we make sure that things don't change when you're not looking. If you play Roblox, there's this game money called Robux. If you get some Robux you, and you go to school, you expect that when you come back home, you still have the same Robux and nobody took it or changed it. And that's the, th the second thing. The third thing is we make sure that whatever is in your digital world is there whenever you need it. You don't want to turn on a game and then it just doesn't work. So cybersecurity people protect those three things and make sure that your things are there when you need them, nobody's changed them, and nobody's pretending to be you. Well, how do we do this? We, as cybersecurity people, have to think like hackers and be hackers, but on the good guy side. There's the good guys and the bad guys. The only difference is if you have permission. So for example, if Roblox calls me and says, hey, I need some help being protected from hackers. Can, what would you do? I said, well, I would try to hack your website. I would try to break in and steal some Robux, and then I would tell you, here's how I did it. Here's what I did to get in, and here's how you can block the bad guy hackers from getting in the same way. Then the companies, the Roblox, or it could be Minecraft, or any other company would be better in the cyber world because then they can protect your things better. So if I want to talk about what kind of jobs are there in cybersecurity, it's not just being a hacker, but there's the actual people that build the technologies. They, they build things to fight away the hackers. And this could be learning some coding and writing the code that does that. Like I mentioned, there are the people that try to break in, and then they tell the good guys how they broke in so that they can block it. There's also people that do a lot of reading and a lot of research. And if you'd like learning about, well, what is going on in cybersecurity today, what's going to be coming out tomorrow, that, that's a different job. You kind of keep an eye out on where could the bad guys be coming from tomorrow. And then there are the cyber detectives. That's another job. After something happens, maybe a hacker does get in, you bring in a cyber detective to find out how they got in, retrace their steps, kind of like a real detective would do in real life. And through that, you find out how can we prevent them from doing it again. So when I think of cybersecurity, I, I actually think of games. It's very, very similar. You get to beat the bad guys. You could win some really cool prizes from cybersecurity. They have a lot of competitions and a lot of schools that want to teach people and bring people in to learn security on the Internet. And being one of the good guys, you get to play with the latest technology, the, the most fun gadgets that you can think of. And on your free time, you can always help out your friends and family to be more safe online. So, wish I could take some questions, but I'm on video today. So I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about cybersecurity and what it can do for you. Bye!